Hey guys, welcome back to Occasional Angler. I thought I'd do a rundown of new tackle which I've got for the upcoming season of 2020. So, coming in first of all, straight from China, we have the Fish Band GH100. I've been talking about this reel for a little bit of time since I saw it on the Reel Test channel um, and they raved about it. It's basically a, a Chinese copy of a Shimano Older Baron. Um, it's very, very cheap. I mean, it's £38 including shipping. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a really nice reel. Now, it, you can't really compare it to the Japanese domestic market in terms of quality. It's a bit plasticky in comparison, but it is a true BFS reel, or it has the capabilities to cast those size reels. Next up is a new rod, which I got. It's a Suranoia Elf. Um, this is an aging rod uh, designed to cast very, very light lures. Aging rods um, are designed uh, to catch horse mackerel in Japan, so they've got a very, very sensitive tip um, and can cast lures down to from 1.6 grams to 7 grams um, and then um, it's got a more of a backbone lower down the rod so a very very sensitive tip a bit like a, a bit like a quiver tip I guess um, so perfect for casting those uh, BFS ultra lightweight lures got a beautiful carbon weave on it and I believe it is made out of Japanese Torre carbon so I'll be looking forward to using that in the upcoming season. Next up is the Suranoia Kingfisher spinning reel. Now this is a full carbon spinning reel. Um, a bit like your kind of CI4 plus Japanese Shimano reels, full composite body, well, actually it's not a composite, it's a carbon body, carbon washers. This is a very high quality reel. Um, the tolerances and the finish of it are again extremely good. Um, I'd say much much higher than the uh, Fish Band GH100. This will stand shoulder to shoulder with uh, any of Shimano's sort of uh, quality spinning reels. Next up we have the Spro Freestyle Mat um, Light. So this is a smaller um, deep hooking mat which um, as you know I, a lot of the fishing which I do I'm sort of roving on the riverbank uh, trying to find perch, chub and pike. Um, this is perfect for all of those applications. Um, I really hate having to sort of drag around a massive uh, de-hooking mat. This is really nice and lightweight. Right, on to some baits. So um, I've gone full Z-Man this year. So um, I've bought some of these little Z-Man grubs. Those will be fished on, you know, one to five gram jig heads. Um, perfect for your ultralight perch fishing. These uh, Z-Man grubs are, all of the plastics are very very elastic-y, um, very very rubbery, very very durable and also I believe they float so when you're fishing them on the bottom they'll stand up and look like it's a, a fish feeding on the bottom. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about these so I can't wait to start using them. Here's some Kitec offerings as well in the same sort of size, two inches. This is the little spider. Um, this particular one um, is a very, very strong smelling one. They've got a very strong squid scent. Um, uh, I guess they sort of, they're like a little creature bait. And again, perfect for those, those perch, especially in colored water where scent actually counts these things uh, really are stinky <laughs> so uh, if they can't see them they'll certainly smell them
and here is uh, the same lure it has no squid sense this one for some reason which is a shame um, but it's in white so again here's your sort of super high vis ones then some Kitek custom leeches. Now I haven't used these yet, but I'm intending on using them for drop shotting. Um, these ones do have a scent on them as well. Um, they've got a kind of ribbed body, um, so they're extremely sort of, um, they'll move through the water very, very well. And also uh, they'll collapse down on a hook very, very well. So I think these maybe with like a, an extra wide gape hook on these those like little micro extra wide gape hooks you could like bounce those along the bottom I'm sure they'll be excellent uh, this is another color just same thing again pretty smelly baits so fish will find them okay a bit more Z-Man action here we go so we've got some tube Z's or tubes so um, I've, I've been watching uh, Perch Finder channel quite a lot recently. Um, really interesting stuff, great channel. If anybody hasn't been there, um, definitely worth checking out. And um, yeah, he's been using a few of these and catching some really nice perch. So I thought, well, why don't I give it a go as well? Uh, so these things will be perfect for the Ned rig um, and also uh, some of the other um, finesse styles of uh, light lure fishing. Right, here we go. So these are the TRD ticklers, something very, very similar again, both with the, the last bait and the, these ticklers, um, they're, uh, they're buoyant, so they will sit up off the bottom. So they kind of look like a feeding fish and you can just, you know, bounce these along the bottom. and. Um, Apparently big perch love them, so um, let's hope they do. If it's anything, if, I, if anything <laughs> goes like the way I've been going when I've been perch fishing, um, pike will definitely love them, because whenever I go perch fishing, I generally just catch pike. And here's another iteration, just in a different color, a slightly darker color. Um, the idea with these is um, in slightly coloured water they'll give more of a profile. And then the big TRD. Now these things look like um, worms basically when you get them out. Again they're much much bigger. You'll be looking at your sort of, well definitely your one pound plus perch for those but um, I'm sure smaller perch will give them a go. Um, but these things really do have some presence and they look great. Um, again, on a Ned rig, they'd be, um, they'd be dynamite, I imagine. Um, so we'll give those a go. I thought I'd give some, um, some craw baits a, a go as well. Um, so these are um, TRD craws, they're, they're like a, a crayfish imitation. Again, you fish those on the Ned rig, sort of, um, they're, they're float, so they, they're up in their kind of attack position or defense position, so they're sort of up in the air. Um, it's got their, their claws up. Um, again, apparently big perch love those, so um, we'll be giving those a go. Nice detail on these as well. Next up, same TRD cores, just in a slightly darker colour. Again, for those really coloured uh, water days, just more of a profile. Okay, then we've got some little um, soft plastics. These are little micro soft plastics. I've actually caught pike on these, strangely enough. These are from Surinoya. And then some clear ones for when you've got those absolutely gin clear days. Bounce those along. I don't think any perch would 
miss the opportunity to chow down on one of them. Then we've got the Kitex Easy Shiner or Easy Shaker uh, worms. These are excellent, I can't say enough about these. They absolutely stink. But they've got such a nice action in the water. You fish these weedless, weedlessly. Um, I've been, I've had a couple of outings with these, uh, fishing them on the Texas rig, um, Carolina rig, um, and I've had perch and pike on them, and they're brilliant. Really, really brilliant. Um, really can't say enough about those baits. Apart from they do absolutely and utterly smell. And here's a, a lighter coloured one for those clear days. Uh, a little bit more finesse presentation. They're both quite natural colours to be honest. And then a Kitek um, uh, jig. So this is um, the Model 3 swimming jig. Um, this basically is a, an American bass lure. Um, what you can do is it's got uh, the the actual skirt is uh, separate or moves separately to the actual jig head itself, so it can move up and down, giving a nat more natural presentation. And then inside the jig head, there is a screw, and you can screw in your favourite soft plastic, uh, and that will be a, a tailor tailor bait going out of the back or trailer bait, sorry coming out of the back and you can uh, hide the hook inside that as well um, really effective I've already had a few pike on those um, definitely worth a go something different you know a lot of the fish won't see uh, baits like that so it's always worth trying something different so here we go we've just got some drop shot hooks as well so those ones you can use with in conjunction with a wire trace um, these are just some straight Mustad Ultra Point um, drop shot hooks in size 4 and size 2. I've got some, picked up a little bit of fluorocarbon line again around about the £6 mark I feel comfortable with. It's resistant enough against pike's te pike, pike teeth that quite often you'll get the pike in if they take it. Uh, a few drop shot leads uh, and weights. I've got a bigger selection of those, but just so you can see. So, yeah, I don't know how to pronounce this. Chebribuska sinkers. Uh, Chebrig, anyway. So, um, these are basically like little jig heads, and you attach a hook on the back of that free swinging hook. And then you've got some. Uh, just straight up jig heads but these are ultra light ones and you can fit in um, uh, weedless bits on them as well uh, a couple of tungsten versions really light um, and with the screwing um, heads which are great so you can screw your, your worm in rather than having to hook it up few more hooks so these are micro game ones size 6 um, really good for your, your smaller um, soft plastics which I'll be using when I'm BFS fishing so for example you can see there up against um, one of the uh, um, smaller uh, soft plastics they're perfect and then we just size up and those will be better for some of the bigger soft plastics. I do like Gamakatsu hooks, they're very, very sharp. Then we've just got some straight J hooks again. These will be used for Texas Carolina rigs. Um, what I have noticed is when I use the J hooks, you get, I think you get a better hookup ratio but the, the hooks tend to sort of hook them in the roof of the mouth whereas the the extra wide gape hooks, the e, uh, EWG hooks tend to hook them in the side of the mouth um, 
I'll, I'll tell you how I get on with those. Then we've got some um, proper uh, uh, Ned Rig hooks and also some wacky weights which they just go into the bottom of some of those soft plastics and then you hook them through the middle. I got given a new pair of uh, fishing pliers, again straight from China, <laughs> actually really high quality, uh, good braid scissors on there and split ring pliers. always find split ring pliers are too big, these ones are really nice and delicate so I can actually get onto some of the smaller lures and actually effectively open up those split rings with those. Always useful to have something like that. Anyway, good luck with your fishing adventures guys and Merry Christmas.